Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I am super excited for you guys all to be here. My name is Dr. Andrea Ryan, and I am a Blue Diamond leader with doTERRA. A little bit of background on myself. I'm also a chiropractor. Um, I was a chiropractor for 15 years, and then thanks to a doTERRA business that had been uh, building and growing and taking up a lot of my, my time, I chose to step back from chiropractic in uh, October of 2017. So I do have a good health background, although um, what I would say is with regards to these daily health habits that we're gonna go through today and giving you guys some tangible tips and ideas on how to improve upon your health, um, the beauty of this is this a lot was self-taught and I have learned these um, like these different about these different products over just simply learning about them over the last number of years, understanding how I can use them, implement them into my daily life, and so on. So I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a bit of a background on myself and and why this is so important to me. My my vision and what drives me each and every day is simply to help uh, people, specifically moms, usually moms, just provide better health for not just themselves but also for their families. Uh, although I do believe that health comes from within and we need to make better choices first and then from there be able to move forward and um, and share what we've learned with our families and our loved ones. So um, I'm hoping that by the end of this webinar, you have taken away some great little um, ideas and thoughts on how you can use a lot of the doTERRA products that I am so very much a fan of. And then not only that, but also um, specifically to uh, different lifestyle choices that you can make as well. And at the very end, you're gonna see that I have a 30 day health challenge that I am going to propose to each and every one of you. So let's get started. How do we even measure wellness? When we're looking at wellness, it's one of those things that, it's, it's a very confusing term. It's, it's a term that not a lot of people are familiar with in terms of an exact definition. And I think it's also fair that we are living in a society where there is so much information online through uh, you know, webinars like this or platforms um, like podcasts and so on that confuse the term of what wellness is. And ultimately, we have to look and make a decision as to truly uh, through just simply self-discovery is how well are we? Um, when we look at traditional healthcare models, they're not necessarily very supportive of a healthcare um, of actually building health. They're there more from a perspective of treating symptoms and managing emergencies, et cetera. Um, so if, for example, you're looking at how can I get healthier, you're not necessarily, certainly not going to go to the emergency room. You're not going to go to a wellness clinic or a, a, a health clinic, um, an emergency clinic. Uh, you might not even go to your, your medical doctor simply because that those people tend to use them from a perspective of treatment of symptoms, um, treatment of disease, and as I mentioned, mass uh, taking care of emergency situations, which they are very good at. But when it comes to truly building up health and wellness from within and building up and strengthening up how our body functions, that needs to either come from a perspective of using other um, voices when within the healthcare system um, and more along the lines of um, you know, health wellness practitioners and holistic healthcare practitioners. But truthfully, a lot of it has to come just from yourself. It really does have to come from you making decisions, doing your own reading and so on, and recognizing what works well for your body and uh, what is in line with your values as well. So just to kind of get an idea of how we look at health, we have things in our life that are either in our control or out of our control. The things beyond our control when it comes to our health are going to be things like our family medical history or genetic disorders, which of course come down to familial um, health issues. Those are things that either you're born with or that you have a higher predisposition for as you age um, and go, uh, you know, and, and new things come up as we, as we get older. But things in our control, they far outnumber the things that are beyond our control. Things like nutritional choices, what we choose to put in our mouths on a daily basis, exercise, management of stress, how we sleep, not just the number of hours, but also the quality of sleep that we get. And then of course, our choices for our health and self-care options. Um, when we look at, as I mentioned earlier, more conventional medical care in terms of medical practitioners, medical doctors, their toolboxes are very small and the fact that they have, you know, truthfully medication and then if that doesn't work, we go to um, surgery or something along those lines. But ultimately, when it comes to more or 
looking at healthcare practitioners from a perspective of wellness doctors, they have so many different options out there, whether it be chiropractors or osteopaths or uh, naturopaths, um, acupuncturists, massage therapists, et cetera. So there's so many different options there. And our self-care is a really critical step with this too, in that so many people uh, disregard this as a viable choice that we can make on our daily, um, in our daily lifestyle in terms of how well we're simply taking care of ourselves. And that may simply be taking time each morning to stretch. Uh, it may be journaling. It may be getting a massage every once in a while. Self-care options that you can look at that just really sort of fill up your cup and make you feel better from the inside out. A few statistics for you. This is where, um, these are actually American uh, statistics, which I think are crazy, but Canadians, I'm a Canadian, we can't be too smug because our numbers are not that far behind. So 30% of Americans are obese. And when I said North Americans, that we're not that far behind, we're um, at about 29% uh, of uh, Canadians are obese. Six in 10 adults have a chronic disease. And we're putting chronic diseases as things like diabetes, cancer, heart disease, arthritis, high cholesterol, et cetera. Four in 10 adults have two or more of these chronic diseases. And the scary thing with these diseases is that we're starting to see them at an earlier onset. So diseases that used to affect those who were 60 years plus, we're now seeing those in 40 year olds and um, even in some cases, 30 year olds. And I'm not talking about juvenile onset diabetes. I'm talking about like significant disease processes like arthritis being laid down in 30 and 40 year olds simply because of a number of lifestyle choices that we've made. So the CDC, which is the Center of Disease Control, states that the leading causes of these disease processes are poor nutritional choices, inactivity, smoking, and excessive use of alcohol. Now, I can put a number of other options down there as well, but going with those, we recognize that all four of those, what do we see? Those aren't things that we were born with. Those aren't things that we um, are absolutely necessary with regards to our life. Estimates vary, that, but the experts tell us that 80 to 85% of disease processes are a direct result of our lifestyle choices. So yes, we need to eat on a daily basis, but what we choose to eat is up to us. We can choose a healthy lifestyle or healthy nutritional um, choices, or we can choose unhealthy nutritional choices. Then we have things like inactivity. Sure, you can walk to the end of your driveway and back, but or go for a walk around the neighborhood, which is very minimal from a perspective of activity, but ultimately, how are, we really, um, how are we really moving our body on a daily basis and how are we pushing our body in, in good ways? Smoking and excessive use of alcohol, complete choices. No one needs to smoke, no one needs to drink alcohol, and these are choices that people make and of course have a huge impact on um, the result of, or on the impact of our health and, and how well we are functioning on a daily basis. So I wanna reiterate that. 80 to 85% of the illnesses people have are a re direct result of the lifestyle choices they make. When we start, if we were to radically shift the way that we live our lifestyle, even just with baby steps, and that's what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna show you the baby steps to get there. But looking at adding these steps in and shifting how we live our lifestyle, if one little thing that we do better each and every day over the course of a year, one year, you are going to see massive improvements in your health for those people who really truly don't take care of themselves right now and for those of us who already did a pretty good job of taking care of ourselves i did my own little experiment last summer where i completely cleaned up what i was eating how much i was moving um, i cut out a majority if not 95 to 98 percent of alcohol uh, cut down at least 80 to 85 percent of sugar i really shifted the way i lived and i wasn't necessarily unhealthy, but there were a number of things that had cropped up that I thought, you know what, I really need to start taking awareness of this. Things, for example, where I was carrying around extra weight that I didn't need. I had these dull, every once in a while headaches that I wasn't even really aware of the fact that I was having until I started cleaning up um, how I was eating, what I was drinking, etc. Um, my skin was not glowing, my energy levels were lower than what they normally were. So these, I, I, li I liken it to our body will start off by just sending us little whispers when something's off, right? It kind of just whispers to us. And if we ignore those whispers, it may speak a little louder next time. And if we continue to ignore those, it's going to shout at us. And if we still continue to ignore um, those signs that are coming, it might be this violent shove. And at that point, that's sort of that wake up moment, unfortunately, for so many people, right? We see the, the, the individuals that continue to live the life, um, unhealthy eating, not working out, not doing everything that they're intended or supposed to be doing to, to live a healthy lifestyle. 
And then everybody's shocked, or they maybe not everybody, but certainly they're shocked when they have a heart attack, or they're shocked when they get a diagnosis that they weren't expecting. And ultimately, it's not because your body didn't give you these little signs along the way. It's just that we've been ignoring them for so long. And these little signs might come in the, you know, in, in ways that we didn't expect them, but it's really an option to take that self-reflection and take a look at it and say, what do I need to shift and change here in order to make sure that I am living the healthiest life I have? I mean, we have one body and one body only. And thanks to the, you know, the brilliance of modern medicine, we can sometimes get, you know, some, some significant health help to get us back on track, but unless we change the actual choices that we're making on a daily basis, then even if we do have the uh, modern medicine that comes in and cleans out our arteries or, um, you know, helps eradicate cancer or um, at the very far end of it has a transplant of a new organ into our body, if we go back to the same health habits that got us there in the first place, we're only going to end up back in that same look, same spot two, five, ten years down the road. We really have to take a, a radical look at how we approach our health and our well-being. I laugh at this quote because honestly, it's true. It can be as simple as drinking water. I cannot tell you the number of times I've asked people to add water into their day, and I hear that it's almost, I, can't, I don't have time, I never remember, but they have no issues plowing back two or three cups of coffee in the morning, tea, mid-afternoon, energy drinks, and then they're finishing up with wine or beer or something in the afternoon. It's really a matter of how we look at it. And ultimately we have just, we, we have the choice. We have absolutely a choice as to what goes into our bodies and what, how we choose to use our time accordingly throughout the day. Uh, and it's just a matter of laying down new healthy habits. Now, listen, I get the fact that healthy habits aren't easy. I totally get the fact that healthy habits aren't easy. And I'm going to use this as an example one for one second here. So watch this video with me. You can keep on enjoying all of the sweets you love. All right, so when we look at this, a majority of, I mean, it's a funny commercial. I get it. They're all excited. They're eating, or he's excited. He's eating whatever he wants. But ultimately, a majority of people are going to watch this commercial and get the messaging that as long as I take Zantac, I can continue to eat whatever I want. Versus looking at it and saying, hey, why does this guy have heartburn to begin with? Probably because he's relying on fast food a lot of the time and he's eating a lot of junk food. And if he were to stop eating the junk food and the fast food on a daily basis, then likely his um, heartburn is going to go away, right? It's not, we don't have an interruption or a disruption of proper functioning of the body unless we are doing, in 80 to 85% of the cases, doing something to disrupt it to begin with. So we have to stop this mindset that there is something to make us feel better and as long as we can keep living our lives as long as we continue to take that one thing that continues to make us feel better. That's not the long-term answer. The long-term answer is really to look at our health habits. Now, I get that healthy habits are, when we have unhealthy habits, unhealthy habits are hard ones to break. I get it. Listen, it is so much easier to scoop out ice cream and enjoy macaroni and cheese rather than making yourself a healthy you know, salad. It doesn't take up all that much more time to make a healthy salad, but sure, macaroni and cheese and ice cream taste so much better than um, a healthy salad. Although I gotta say, I make some pretty good healthy salads that, feel, that taste delicious. But ultimately, we become such creatures of habit that it's really hard for us to shift. And those, those habits come up in so many different areas of our life. You'll notice that when you wake up in the morning, first of all, you probably sleep in the same position or on the same side of the bed at night. You wake up in the morning, you have your little morning routine, you might use the washroom, go to brush your teeth, uh, get changed, you come downstairs, probably eat very similar foods every morning for breakfast, you go to work, you drive the same way to work each day. Uh, when you go to the grocery store, you walk in, you go to the same direction, up and down the same aisles, and you probably put 
80 to 85% of the same foods in your cart every single week. We are creatures of habit. I get that. It's, and it's hard to start changing those habits because it, it does. It takes time to lay down a habit. And I've heard everything from three weeks to 30 days to 60 days. I've heard everything from it takes forever to lay down a habit simply because it takes one day to get you off track. And I know, I know that we've all been there, right? Where we've started to do something new. We've started to do something good for our health, whether it's walking every day. Let's use walking every day. We walk every day. And for the first three days, you feel amazing. A week goes by, you're like, I am a rock star. I am doing this walking. I'm doing so well. I'm so excited and proud of myself. And then on day 10, it's raining. And you think, oh, you know what? I don't want to get wet. I'm not going to put on my raincoat. I'm not going to grab my umbrella. I'm just going to stay inside today. And it can be that one day because the next day you wake up and maybe you're a little tired and think, well, I missed yesterday, so I'll just make sure I do a extra longer walk tomorrow. And then maybe you do do a longer walk tomorrow, but because you did a longer walk the next day, the following day, you're like, well, you know what? I went out for a long time yesterday and we get off track of whatever these habits are. So it's something that we're constantly having to work at. And I'm not going to take away from that. I get that it's a constant Thing that we need to work on when we're laying down new habits or just choosing to live a healthy lifestyle. But it's important because to me, the time and effort that I put in now is well worth the results I'll have when I'm 50, 60, 70, 80 years old and more. Because the old adage of, well, you know, as we get older, we just, things start to not work as well. To some extent, sure, I'm not negating that, but it doesn't mean that old age is an automatic prescription for all of these different diseases. I get that we slow down. I get that our bodies will um, over time deteriorate because inevitably at some point we all die. I get that. However, it doesn't, we see examples every day of people well into their 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond who work out regularly, who move on a regular basis, who sleep well, who are flexible, who have great digestion. And there are tons of, um, even though we're saying six out of 10 Americans have a chronic disease, that means that four out of 10 Americans do not. And so let's start looking at what the individuals who do not have chronic long-term diseases, what are they doing to prevent that? When we look at heart disease, when we look at arthritis, when we look at cancers, just because your parents had them does not mean that you are going to have them. Bad genes do not indicate, or genetics do not indicate that you are absolutely going to get whatever the disease process is because we know through epigenetic research, which is the study of how our lifestyle choices impact our genetics, we can turn on and turn off genes in our system or the genetics in our system, the DNA, to, depend, to decide where we go in the forward. In, in the future, excuse me. So looking to our past gives us clues, but we can definitely change the future because we can take those clues and say, well, what, how can I live my life differently? Does that make sense? I hope that resonates with you all. Okay, so let's look into, so what is this? Whoops. Come on. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> they, they really wanted me to show that commercial. So let's take a look at this. When we look at the doTERRA wellness lifestyle, this is a, um, a graph that I show a lot of people. We look at the bottom and that's our lifestyle, right? That's 80 to 85% of the stuff that we can take care of. We can reduce our toxic load by reducing the chemical stresses around our home. We can take care of our rest and how we manage our stress by making better lifestyle choices there. We can choose to exercise. We can choose to eat properly. The stuff under that dotted line, you have 100% control of. Make, make no mistake, you have 100% control of everything below that line. Above that line, I would still act, argue that you do have control over the self-care that you choose to, to implement and the type of medical care that you choose to implement. Now, when the emergencies strike, thank God for the emergency rooms. I'm not taking anything away from that. When we need ongoing care because of something that's gone wrong in our, in our health, that's where we need it. But you also still have choices. And even if we are at a point where we do have one of these chronic long-term diseases, everything below that dotted line is still going to improve the outcome and the quality of our life as we progress through whatever that chronic disease is. So when I hear someone, I, cancer has hit us recently and I get it. Um, when I worked with patients for a number of years um, that had heart disease and arthritis and all, you know, and name it, we ran the gamut. We had lots of different disease processes were coming through our, our, our office. 
when working with those individuals, it didn't mean that everything below the dotted line gets ignored because that is what's going to shift the course of how well we respond and how well we um, heal from whatever the healthcare issue is that we're having at the time. So we absolutely have to take responsible for those four bottom ones. So let's look at what, this is where doTERRA fits in. Now, here's the beauty with doTERRA. doTERRA, yes, we have essential oils. We have supplements. We have lots of different products that can help improve upon your lifestyle. But I wanna make something very clear. doTERRA to me is not the all natural alternative to whatever the Zantac, for example, or the aspirin, or whatever medication you're taking. This does not become the alternative to it. These lifestyle recommendations that we're gonna go through over the next little bit are there to help enhance and support your health, strengthen your immune system, strengthen your digestive system, strengthen your response to stress. These, these protocols or these recommendations are there to bolster your health, not to be used as a remedy for a health issue. Now, can they be used for a remedy? Absolutely. Like for example, when I look at OnGuard, I know OnGuard is a great immune support. My husband and I both have some sore throats. We've been, we were late out at a basketball game the other night, long day, um, had been up early. It was April Fool's. Our kids got us up early that day. And um, so we'd had a long day. We didn't get our normal amount of sleep and we kind of woke up feeling tired and a little bit run down. And so we've been using OnGuard, for example, that's a great immune support. We've been using OnGuard to help bring us back to health, right? We've been getting adjusted, all of the good things that we do on a regular basis. But ultimately, I use OnGuard every single day simply because I know that in general, it keeps me a lot healthier than it would if I wasn't using it. So OnGuard is one of those things that I rub onto the bottoms of my kids' feet, I rub onto my feet, we will have them going in the diffusers. It's just a support system. Peppermint, for example, we know peppermint helps to reduce the inflammation and can help support a better um, response to a headache. That being said, I don't think people need to only simply rely on, if someone's got ongoing headaches, I'm gonna say, hey, great, peppermint is a great support system for that. However, let's look at why you have the headache to begin with. Because it's not due to a lack of peppermint in your body, it's not due to a lack of aspirin in your body, but it's likely due to stress, or maybe you're dehydrated, or um, from a chiropractic perspective, I also look at nervous system function, is your body um, under stress? So there's lots of different factors that we can look at to, Im to figure out why you're having the migraine uh, or the headache, but ultimately we can also, when it comes to reducing toxic load, I would much rather use peppermint to help support my body in um, reducing inflammation rather than taking an aspirin, which I know has detrimental effects on my system, right? So when we look at Dr. So Dr. Hill, David Hill is a, um, the medical, or was, he's now been, um, he's moved on to something else with doTERRA, but, uh, and we have a, a new medical director for doTERRA. However, excuse me while I drink some water there, um, he gave these recommendations as simply daily tips that will help support you in your health. So we have our morning routine, we have our afternoon, our evening, and our bedtime routine. And I'm gonna go through each and every one of these as, um, with more detailed slides now. So foundational wellness, this is lifelong vitality. This is a non-negotiable for me each and every day. I too, do two of these in the morning, two of these in the afternoon. And I've got a new web, I'll be doing a whole, uh, spotlight webinar on this in May. Um, so, you know, get ready for that. That'll come as well. But ultimately, I wanted to give sort of just a little bit of a, a glimpse into the power of lifelong vitality. So it is designed to promote health, energy, and longevity while supporting wellness throughout the aging process. It's a support for antioxidants, immune, energy, and nutrient. And my friends, it is with safe and effective ingredients. Now, those, for those of you who take it, um, the recommendation is that if you are under 120 pounds, you do one of each, all three of them, so one EO Omega, one Microplex VM, one Alpha CRS um, in the morning and one at night. If you are over 120 pounds, then you're gonna do two in the morning, two at night. And take it with food. It's one of those that is just so much easier on your stomach if you take it with food, because it is a blast of um, cellular energy and nutrients into your system. So let's break down each and every one of these. Alpha CRS, the alpha state stands for first. CRS is the cellular renewal system, in, system excuse me, and the addition or plus sign there means that from the original formula, they haven't made an improvements over the last number of years, but this was years ago. So for those of you new to doTERRA, it doesn't really make a difference. Alpha CRS is gonna provide your body with antioxidants. It promotes vitality and improved energy levels. 
DNA protection. Support healthy cellular function by protecting cellular DNA. It promotes cellular energy by supporting healthy mitochondria. Mitochondria are like the little powerhouses of your cell. They're the ones that keep you going and keep your cells moving and, and energized. Supports healthy cellular immune function, supports mental clarity and brain function. Holla! This is amazing. The Alpha CRS alone is phenomenal. And when we're talking about, um, earlier I met about, mentioned epigenetics and the ability for us to change our genetic future based on our uh, lifestyle choices that we make. When we're talking about genetic future, we're talking about DNA. So we want to be able to protect the DNA, support the healthy cellular function, um, at the cellular level with your DNA because that's what makes that's your makeup and your genetic makeup Okay, so this is why we this is such an important product So the ingredients in alpha uh, CRS we've got boswellia serrata, which is a form of frankincense by salin milk thistle reserve reserve retrol, excuse me <laughs> Resveratrol, screwed that one up. Uh, green tea leaf pomegranate pineapple turmeric grape seed sesame seed and pine bark all of these ingredients go back and they're specifically supported when it comes to our cellular health and our cellular renewal. So you have got massive um, uh, number of ingredients in there and support systems in there to benefit all of the different cellular health and the um, cellular renewal system that we need to get from the Alpha CRS. XEO Omega. So the X stands for astaxanthin. It's a standardized extract of microalgae. Um, EO is, of course, essential oils. And the Mega stands for the Omega benefits provided by the supplement. So I want you to think of this guy as your fish oil, right? Although the nice thing is that they both have marine and plant Omega blends for the vegans in the house. Uh, they provide your body with an essential fatty acid to help its function in a healthy way. Uh, the ideal ratio of omega-3, 6s, and 9s. In general, we tend to be really high in omega-6s because of all the plant-based, the poor plant-based oils that are out there, like corn oil, palm oil, etc. So with omega-3s and 9s, that's where we want to increase it. So this um, supplement with the uh, XEO Omega will help balance out the ratio between the three sixes and nine, so it's within the ideal ratio and not highly focused on the omega sixes. It has natural vitamins D and E. It has, as I mentioned, astaxanthin, which is that from the microalgae. And it has nine essential oils, clove, frankincense, thyme, cumin, wild orange, peppermint, ginger, and German chamomile. So you're getting all of these essential oils just in the omega on its own to support your overall health and well-being. On top of it, I will say that in the morning, I do a, um, I do my, all of my lifelong vitality, but I also do a separate capsule, and this is, I don't have a slide for, but I thought it would be good for you guys to hear it, is that I do a separate capsule with frankincense, yarrow palm, turmeric, and pink pepper. So you'll notice that two of them, the thyme and the, or excuse me, the, the frankincense and the, Oh, why did I think turmeric? Sorry, I said time. I said turmeric earlier. It's time. My, that's my brain fart on that. Frankincense is a time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with the frankincense, I'm already getting it in there, but frankincense is such a support of the neurological system that I, I like to boost that up a little bit more and I get the frankincense. And we're going to talk more a little bit about frankincense uh, in just a bit with the, the separate essential oil. So let's look at the benefits of the XEO Omega. Promotes heart and circulatory health, healthy joint function and comfort immune boosting nutrients. It supports healthy function of the brain, eye, and nervous system. It promotes healthy skin. The use of the CPTG, which stands for Certified Pure Tested Grade Essential Oils, provides antioxidants, healthy cellular response, healthy immune function, and digestive calming effects. Uh, that's from the peppermint. Provides a wide range of omega-3 fatty acids from marine and plant sources to help maintain a healthy balance of these vital nutrients. As I mentioned, anstazanthin provides the body with antioxidants as well as systemic and circulatory benefits, and it provides the body with natural sources of both vitamin D and E. Vitamin D is critical for our health and well-being, especially in the winter months. I'm up in Canada, and we are significantly decreased in sun throughout the day um, up here. So for us to be able to get vitamin D, even in the summer, it's really important because so many people, I choose not to use a lot of sunblock or sunscreen. Um, I use more natural options with it, but when we are using sunblock and sunscreen, it is blocking the ability for our body to absorb in the sunlight, which when, it, when the sunlight hits into our skin and mixes with the cholesterol on their skin, that is where it starts to flip over to vitamin D. So we don't get vitamin D from the sun, we get vitamin D when the cholesterol in our body 
um, is impacted by the sun, right? So that's when it flips to vitamin D. So it's so critical throughout the entire year to make sure you're getting good sources of vitamin D. And I mentioned vitamin E as well. All right, Microplex BM. At the lack of making, at the worry of making this sound like it's, I don't want to minimize what this is, but I want you to think of this as your multivitamin. Okay, so this is a micronutrient complex. The VM stands for vitamins and minerals, and the Z again approves, uh, it relates to improvements made from the original product years ago. You're going to be providing essential vitamins and minerals to keep the body functioning in a healthy manner. It offers the vitamins and minerals we might not be getting in our diet. Let's talk about this for just a moment, guys. Listen, I love organic produce. I try to buy it as much as I can, although sometimes I just need like, you know, if there's a certain vegetable, obviously we can't get everything organic, but we know even the organic versions out there are not the same nutrient density that we had 50, 60 years ago. The soil that we grow our foods in now just doesn't have the same um, nutrient value in it anymore. So our foods are less in nutrients. So we need to make that up occasionally. And the Microplex VM is where this comes in. Now, one of the things I don't believe I've put in a slide with this is Terrazyme. It's another product that we have with regards to um, the daily healthy habits. And the Terrazyme is a digestive enzyme. So the Microplex VM is this onslaught in a great way of building up our nutrients in our body. And then the Terrazyme helps break that down, whether it be from food or whether it be from nutrients, helps break it down so that we are actually absorbing these nutrients, which is even more important, right? Because it's one thing to get the nutrients into our system, but if we're not absorbing it, what's the point? We're just peeing it out and that's, you know, it's just very expensive urine is that how I used to like, I like to liken it to. And that's not what we want. We need to be able to actually absorb these nutrients. Okay, so it's a whole food botanical blend, enzymes to aid in digestion and help with the absorption of nutrients. It also has a doTERRA tummy tamer botanical blend. So this makes it a little bit easier on your, well, it does make it easier on your belly. But as I mentioned earlier, you want to use this with food. Some people have no issues whatsoever consuming it without food. But personally, I like to use it with the food because my stomach does get upset if I take it on its own. All right, so 22 essential vitamins and minerals. Fights free radicals with the antioxidant benefits of A, C, and E vitamins. We support healthy metabolism and cellular energy, bone health with calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D, supporting a healthy immune function, supporting healthy digestion, and includes a patented glycoprotein matrix for enhanced bioavailability. So already it becomes more bioavailable, but as I mentioned, one of the things that I really will, will go into deeper with the 30-day challenge is to ensure you're taking the Terrazyme on a daily basis in order to actually make those more bioavailable for us to be able to consume. All right, so daily healthy lifestyle choices versus treating symptoms. I talked a little bit about this already, and this is where I wanna make the distinction as I introduce the essential oils that we're gonna use in this program, is that not all of the oils, um, the oil should not be used simply as a purpose to treat symptoms. I want you to think of them more as a healthy lifestyle choice on a daily basis. So these are the oils, <clears throat> excuse me, that we use in the, um, 30 day challenge or with the daily health habits. Balance, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Balance, frankincense, on guard, lemon, and lavender. So daily use of these oils here, I'm not gonna go into the benefits of each and every one because that's part of what we'll learn in the 30 day challenge, but the use of these oils is healthy immune system function, nervous system function, digestive function, sleep, and detoxing our body. If it becomes a habit, and I'm talking like the habits, we brush our hair every day, we brush our teeth every day. These are daily habits that the dental health, well, let's use teeth specifically, brushing our teeth. Dentists are so good at drilling it into us that we need to brush our teeth two to three times a day. We get it, we need to floss, not everybody does, but we still need to floss. And the use of um, a really good, uh, oh gosh, my friends, doTERRA has an on guard uh, mouthwash that is amazing. If you want to pick it up, it's absolutely fantastic. So, and it's, uh, it's very, there's no harsh chemicals in it, which is awesome. But when it becomes a habit, our body functions better. It just, we just know that. We know that our body functions better when we do it habits. If we don't brush our teeth, our teeth rot right? We get that. We have increased chance of cavities. If we're not flossing, um, you know, three to four times a week or more, if you can, that would be even better. But we know that that helps with healthier um, dental health. The same comes when it comes to our body health, right? If we can't tell you, I can't tell you how well my liver is functioning right now. I get that. I can't tell you <clears throat> how well my stomach is functioning or my heart is functioning. But I know that through the daily use of these oils, my body functions better. 
Deep Blue Rub and the oil. This is going to be used to support your muscles and joints because one of the things with the daily challenge or the 30 day challenge that I'm going to propose to people is that they want to start um, not just using the oils and the products, but this is about laying down healthy habits across the board. So, you know, what nutritional choices are they making? What foods are they eating? What, what you know, are they consuming water versus other drinks? Are they uh, exercising on a daily basis? And when it comes to the exercise, especially if they're not used to exercising in the past, as we do start to use those muscles maybe that we haven't used in a while, this, the deep blue rub in the oil will help to reduce inflammation and support healthy muscle and joints. So lifestyle goes beyond essential oils in the products. As I, I hope I've hammered this tip home, this is not an all natural alternative to medications specifically with these doTERRA oils and products. Our mission is not just to get oils into every home because I honestly, it's, that's part of my mission is that it's not just doTERRA's mission, it's my mission too. I know people are healthier when they have these essential oils and products in their home. I know they can reduce their toxic load. I know they can support their health and their immune system and digestive systems and nervous systems, et cetera. Their kids will sleep better, they will sleep better. It is not a question in my mind as to whether this is important to have in your house. So it helps to promote health, but it's also to change the dialogue on how health is created. We don't want to wait till we're sick in order to make changes in our lifestyle. We need to make changes now. doTERRA has really started to disrupt the healthcare system because we are creating a more a recognition and a knowledge of the fact that things need to change and we need to <clears throat> not just make better lifestyle choices, but the, when we do get to a point where we want to support our health, we have other options at our fingertips that are natural, are non-toxic, and are, have the ability to build health and support health, not just wait until we are sick or need the, the, issue, uh, need the emergency situations there. Most importantly, we need to take responsibility for our health. If 80 to 85% of lifestyle of diseases are lifestyle related, there is no more excuse. There is enough information for free on Google that you can Google and figure out how to implement this into your life. There are webinars, there are podcasts, there are books. There is no short of information out there when it comes to how um, healthy we can be. And ultimately, it is your responsibility to stay healthy. Do not allow yourself to get to a point where your health deteriorates to the point where you are ill. Let's do it before that, right? It just makes more sense to me. So taking responsibility for our health is critical. And these daily lifestyle habits <clears throat> go way beyond just using the essential oils and supplements. We absolutely want to make sure that we are getting a good enough rest, that we are mindful, that we are supportive of our health, that we look at how we're eating, what we're consuming, um, everything from our, what TV are you watching at the end of the day? Or do you pick up a book? Do you go for walks with your family? Are you getting a good night rest? Are you getting good quality sleep, not just quantity of sleep? Are you, you know, consuming news media that might, you might find frustrating or sad or um, depressing? There's so much information out there that sometimes we need to be able to decide what we choose to bring into our life as well, right? And ultimately focusing on yourself, affixing your own oxygen mask first so that you can move forward and then share these tips and principles with other people is such a critical component. And your kids or your spouse or your family or your friends or your coworkers when they see that you have taken responsibility for your health and you start to make better choices and as a result, your health improves and things, you know, you're not as uh, maybe cranky or you're not as tired, um, your energy soars, your skin clears up, your digestion improves, you're not as sick as you used to be all the time. People will take notice. You have started to make a lifestyle choice. People will take notice. And I promise you, you will become an inspiration to everyone around you simply because you decided to take control. And as a result, when you become healthier, it just completely shifts it for other people because they realize that they can no longer be a victim to the choices that they've made. They get to decide. Just my two cents there. All right, so the next step, 30-day challenge. For those of you who are watching this webinar um, or if you signed up for the webinar, you are going to get a email in the next 24 hours with the recorded version of this, which is awesome. And on there will be an invitation to a Facebook group that is our Daily Health Habits 30-day challenge. It will be running from April 15th to May 14th. And it will be um, weekly check-ins. There will be, uh, well, daily tips and making sure that you're taking uh, your Terrazyme and your, uh, your supplements and doing your oils and so on. 
Uh, there will be printouts. There will be the ability for you to um, get in on uh, random weekly posts where there will be giveaways and it might be, hey, take a photo of whatever exercise you're doing today or show us what your lunchtime meal is today. Lots of different things, um, everything from how to better meal plan. It will be packed with information. You can take with it, take from it what you want. You can leave from it what you want. It's totally up to you. It's completely customizable. The mainstay along the whole thing will be, of course, the essential oils and the products so that we are supporting our health, giving, our, giving ourselves good cellular health, good um, digestive health with the, um, with the supplements, and then supporting it with the oils and the, the rub and so on. So there will be so many things. So it's absolutely imperative that if you want to join this 30-day challenge that you either have already got the products in your stash at home, your collection at home, which if you do, amazing. I'm super excited for you. If you don't yet, you obviously have time. We have two weeks until this begins, which is why I did the webinar so far in advance. So if you are brand new to doTERRA and you're excited about this, whoever it was that introduced you to doTERRA, I want you to connect in with them and make sure that you get the daily health habits uh, products into the mail as soon as possible. If you already have a, um, an account Make sure that you get those daily health habits um, products. You can look it up, you can Google it. It's super simple to find out what's in there. Um, basically, it's the Lifelong Vitality Supplements, the Terrazyme. If you are from the States, you can also get the PB Assist, or if you wish to order from the States, PB Assist, which is an incredible probiotic. Uh, we have the five oils, we have the Deep Blue Rub and the Deep Blue Cream. Simple, simple, super easy. And you have the ability to order those through both the Canadian and US warehouse. And you're gonna want those before this begins April 15th. So make that a priority to get that done in the next couple of days at most. Any more information, you can connect in with me. This is my website and my email address. If you have any questions, if you wanna get started with doTERRA and you're excited about this challenge, please email me and I will happily um, get you started. And uh, if you don't already have someone who's guiding you with doTERRA, I'll happily get you started. But otherwise, I want you to connect in and, um, and take, take the first step, which is just simply to get started. That's what I can help with. I'm really um, passionate about helping people bring back their health, get back their health, and take radical responsibility for, for the place that they're in and the place that they can be a month, a year, 10 years down the road from now. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very excited to have you here, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in our Facebook group starting on April 15th. Have a great day.